Good morning. You want to say anything? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Okay. Uh, um. Okay, well. She wants to say good morning. Oh, you want to say good morning, Adia? Okay. Say good morning. Uh oh, that hair. You got oh, the horror okay. flick hair. <laughs> I think you need a hair comb. Well, we're bidding, uh, well, not bidding yet. We're looking at our stuff for the mill working option, and we are crossing out the ones that we already got uh, outbid on, and we're deciding if we want to bid on other stuff. Let's see. 941. Well, we finished lunch five minutes ago, and we're trying to see if we can pick up in ten minutes. Kills are doing a pretty good job. Look at that. They're done washing. Now they're drying and putting away. And the table is done. And also, this is our last of the store-bought salad for a while. Yay! And we have our own salad coming from our garden that we're going to have very soon. Probably, uh, probably tonight or tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Well, Charity is watching the auction. Uh, they close it in two-minute increments, and uh, she's doing coupons, pulling out expired coupons while she is uh, doing that. Um, I, I have decided that we're not going to buy anything well, because things are going for high prices for one thing. Um, would we have gotten anything so far? Yes. What would we have gotten? Just one thing? Yeah. Okay, we would have just gotten one thing so far up to, what was that, 350? Yeah, 350 items. We would have ended up with one thing so far had we bid. That's crazy. And uh, we decided not to because we wanted to work on uh, getting the garage cleared out better and, and our third floor. So I decided to just not do the auction and do our house instead. Hey John. Yes. What's that there? Fishing. Fishing. What about fishing? Fishing. Come here. Come back here. Show us how it works. You have to reel in like real fishing. Okay. So how do you do it? Okay. Where, how do you know you're getting a fish? Because it's rumbling. Oh. Oh it shakes? Uh-huh. What's the little screen there? Told you if you got a fish like I do right now. Okay, can you show me? No. Okay, okay, hold it. You little hold it a little closer. Little Alright, in the light, I mean. Okay, so you got a fish. Um, is the fish coming in? Or did it get away? No, it's not getting away. Okay. 17 inches. Wow, that's a big fish. Are we going to have it for dinner tonight? Oh, bummer. Well, we just have one thing that's sold, and that's going to Burlington, North Carolina. It's a whole bunch of homeschooling books. On the way to the post office, we saw this. Table. We're gonna pass on that one. Well, that was the last lot of homeschool books we sold for somebody, a friend at church. Usually we don't sell stuff for people because it's a lot of work and uh, it's a lot of commission that they have to pay eBay and all that stuff. But on occasion we'll sell stuff for other people. And those books sold very well and She's also our Spanish teacher, yeah. so... she's also our Spanish teacher, so we are being kind to her. And she's doing a really good job teaching Spanish, as you saw yesterday from our video. And we are home. Tonight, for dinner, we're going to have tacos from Taco Kits. And Janelle got these for free uh, with coupons and stuff. And they also have the box tops for education. And what we do with those is... We sell them on eBay. You can get about nine cents each, so you get about oh a couple hundred of them, and then you put them on eBay and sell them for oh fifteen to twenty dollars, and uh, it works pretty well. So actually, these were less than free. 
It's after dinner and I'm back outside. I'm going to see if I can get my cucumbers and my squash and maybe my beans. If I can get those planted before the uh, mosquitoes eat me. I tell you, back here at nighttime it gets really bad. But I was looking at my pole beans and they're just coming up. Yay! Well, that's always a good sign. I'm just finished planting my pole beans here. This is my second crop of pole beans. And I'm just covering them up so they're all done. I also planted my cucumbers and my uh, summer squash. So those are all set. And now the beans are done. But over here, look at the lettuce. All that rain we got last night really had it grow really big. And I just weeded in there, so that's why the kale, some of the kale is leaning over. Um, but my plan is I'll start harvesting, I'll start harvesting this stuff really soon. And then by the time the summer heat hits, you know, I'll pull all this out, but the kale I'll leave in and let it get really big. So that's what I accomplished today. You can see my echinacea right here has gotten really tall and I've never grown this before, so I don't know how big it's going to get. But behind this, you can't see, in there, I was supposed to have a row of zinnias. I planted them and all I have left is one. Uh, we have a high amount of um, chickmunks this year and they seem to be eating anything that I plant. So I guess I'm not gonna have many zinnias this year. Here is arts uh let's see this looks like a pear tree that looks really healthy and then the peach oh it's coming along it looks a little little slow it's got a little growth there not too much but it's coming over here you can see all of these blackberries and it looks like we're gonna have a bumper crop this year these are not supposed to actually be in my grapevine but I, every year I cut them down to practically nothing and every year they come back and they have lots of berries on them. So that's the black, um, I, I guess they're black caps, something like that. And then in here, those guys are going to be grapes. And it's looking pretty good for grapes too. Uh, we'll see. Every year I get tons of grapes and then I never have a chance to process them, which kind of aggravates me but I think it's because they come due right around the first frost and I'm so tired of canning everything that it, the grapes are just like oh well. So here are the peppers that I planted the other day and they all look pretty good except this one and I don't know why that looks like that. It almost looks like it got burned or something. I don't know everything else the, these guys look the rest of them look really good that one's got some chew marks but I'm not worried about that. Um, the rest look good, but that's the only one that has that kind of wacky, curly, leaf, burnt look. I don't know. Might lose that one. And the tomatoes are finally getting that nice dark green color, so that means they must be just getting over their transplant shock and will start taking off really soon. We're planning on having our garage sale on Friday and Saturday, and in the effort to make sure that everything gets out to the sale, I've been cleaning my bedroom today, making sure everything is out, and um, I've pretty much picked up all of the treadmill and a lot of the flat surfaces. I still need to work on my dresser. Um, it's funny, when the kids, quote, pick up the house, everything seems to land in my room. I don't know how that happens. And so every couple days I get this heaping pile on top of my treadmill. It just, it, it's a mess and it's very hard for me to keep up on it because it's my bedroom and you know, not everybody comes in here and I can always close the door. But today I did want to tackle that today. So that's what I've been working on and um, it's getting late. So I think I'm going to hit the hay, but I will see you guys all tomorrow. Good night.